Denise and Reed, and we have been traveling in our self-converted van for the last three years. One thing we have learned about van life is that plans can always change. One minute, we're starting our journey up the coast towards the beautiful redwood forest, and the next... We are currently on the side of a dirt road. I did not feel like I was in the mood to pick up this camera and share what's going on, but I'm gonna document it so that when things get better and I look back at how I'm feeling right now, I can remember that bad things can happen or frustrating moments can happen and it always turns around, everything's gonna be fine. We thought we were gonna be going to this beautiful campsite that we heard about. And then on our way here, we started hearing this really bad noise. Maybe I'll insert it here. we realized that it has to be our wheel bearing, which we had problems with like two years ago. The worst thing we can do is keep run, keep using it, wearing it down more. We called a tow, they're on their way. We don't know how long they're gonna take. All right, can I call you back in like two minutes? Yeah. All right, right all right, thank you, man. We made it to the dealership after a bumpy dirt road. Daniel got us here, he's the man. Oh, I'm so grateful that we made it. Time to go to bed. The fam's all here. We have Kitty. We're just hanging out. Fingers crossed they get the part they need today so that we can finish up here and get out of here. The hardest part about having our van in the shop is that we have to, you know, find somewhere for the animals. Bye, Bella. And Rita. We put her in her cat bag and she hates her cat bag so much. So I'm so glad that she's just hanging out. She's like, as long as you don't put me in the bag, I'll be good. So. <laughs> he just test drove it and I ran out there to try to talk to him because you're not really supposed to talk to the text, but I walked out there like, is it all good? And he said, yeah, I got it up to 65 and there was nothing, so. Kitty's ready. Oh, yeah, she sure is. I'm gonna put them up into the van and get the heck out of Dodge. And we spent three nights here, one night when we first got towed, and two since. We've been in this lot for 72 hours. Sleeping here was a little sketch, but not too bad. Rita is in the back. She is so happy to be back in the van. Onward and upward, you know? He has to inspect their work. Making sure that lever looks nice and good. How'd it look? The brand is thinking, new. it's nice and shiny. It's closed for once. He thinks he's a mechanic now or something, folks. Here we go. Let's give it a test drive. That's the sound of you. I can hear myself think. It got to a point where it was hard to communicate with each other. It drowned out everything. I feel like it was affecting my hearing. Like, oh, okay, I have <laughs> hearing loss from it. What do you think about our new backdrop? <laughs> We went for something a little more neutral. Um, it's, it's thin <laughs> like a sheet, so it waves in the wind. <laughs> There's something about how lush and green it is out here that just makes me feel alive. It's probably because I didn't have that in Colorado. It's a very different kind of forest. They don't call the Rockies for nothing. It smells like the ocean. Very fishy. It's even more potent when you get farther north. Raw, it's more rugged. Stay away from the ocean, frigid water, strong currents, survival unlikely. Have you ever seen a sign like that at the beach? Because this is my first time. I've never had it so blatantly say survival unlikely. And then there's like four other signs that say the same thing. So this is something to take seriously. Let's take a look and see what they're talking about. How cool is this? I can't lie, the farther north we get, the more excited I get. I have loved our time in California, but I have been itching to get back to Oregon since we left. And we're so close. And I just love this area. It just like sets my soul on fire. It makes me so happy. Give me a, give me a, ready? 
Get it. Look at that close up on that monster. Whoa. All right, I want to know what they're talking about when they say steep, deadly. I mean, these waves are enormous. I don't doubt that this is dangerous. Oh, this sand feels so good on my feet because it's like rocky, pebbly sand. It's like, ooh, feels good. We just confirmed with Reed's parents that they are going to be meeting us in Canada, in Vancouver. We've been trying to get to Canada forever. We've had some setbacks, but here we are getting back on this journey to go north and we're not gonna let anything get in our way. <laughs> are you happy to be on the beach again? Oh. I would love to take a ride on a seaplane. Oh, oh gosh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> She's a bulldog through and through. He's been singing for five minutes, but now I turn this on, he'll stop. It's NSWS or whatever. Not, Not safe, safe for work. Sing it. Beep, 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 Hey, she's the real star. Believe it or not, we are at a rest stop right now. I know it looks like I'm in the middle of a redwood forest, but we actually slept right behind Denise here. It is a great place to embark on your trip through the coastal redwoods. We got a great night's sleep and it's definitely the most unique rest stop we've ever stayed at. To feel like you just wake up in the woods, you don't get that often. All right, let's take our walk back to the car and check out this gorgeous rest stop. You're just taking a little meander through these beautiful trees. It's a hike in itself. I love this area so much. Let's get back to the car. All right. Leaving the Redwood rest stop to enter the Redwood Park. The Redwood Parks are separated in a couple of different areas, so we're gonna go through this one little scenic area, and then there's some trails up in the northern part that I wanna check out. What a gorgeous drive. Clearly Bella loves it as much as we do. That coastline. <laughs> oh. Welcome to, to the, the Redwoods. Redwoods. Yeah. That wasn't planned. We are here. We're going to be spending the whole day enjoying this beautiful national park. And you're coming with us. Yeah. Now let's get out of the road before we get hit. Yeah, let's go. Holy cannoli. The Redwoods have been proven to cure Tex Neck. We spend two weeks here, Tex Neck will be gone. Reed and I were feeling a little cranky earlier. Then we come here and we're on a hike and we're both like smiling ear to ear. And we both said, it feels good to be alive. You can't not smile when you're out here. Oh, this is definitely the corkscrew tree. It's one of these things that you feel like is just impossible to capture on film. You have to get out here and see it for yourself. It's just so massive. It is like one, two, three, four, like, like half a dozen trees kind of combined and it goes up. And then from where it joins together right there, it goes on for, you can't even see, but it goes on for like another hundred feet it feels like. Get out here and see it for yourself. Ooh. Oh, that's cold. It's not too bad. This is a grandpa tree if I've ever seen one. You know it has to have been alive for a long time and been through a lot. Is there anything like the sequoias that have been here for a thousand years or two thousand years? Tengo hambre. What are you gonna cook us? What? <laughs> no tengo hambre. I'm gonna make, I think, sandwiches. We're just gonna go with something easy. 
Well, howdy ho. What's up, Toothless? The gang is here. Hi, kitty. I'm making us tortellini Sandwiches. salad. Tortellini Sandwiches. salad. <laughs> I'm making tortellini salad. Sandwiches. No. Is it crazy? We finish each other's salads. salads. That's, That's what I was going to say. Dang it, you knew I was going to go against the words of the Because I know you. I knew you were going to say sandwiches. Oh, snap. One of the most incredible drives we have done while on the road. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park or something. This is pretty wild. I was not expecting to, to do this. I thought it was just gonna be a normal road. Okay, I saw this and I had to get out. Make sure no one's coming. Look! <laughs> that is a tree trunk. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Okay, let me get back in the van. We're not done with this drive yet. That is just incredible. Insane! Break your freaking neck just to see how glorious these trees are. This is definitely up there, top five drives of all time. Howland Hill Road, going through the northern part of the Redwoods Forest, is a must, must see for forest lovers. I still think my all time number one road was the one in a Royal Gorge Road or something Gorge. Million Dollar Highway in Colorado. And then I'd also have to say that Sedona. Tell us your top drives, the best drives you've done in the US. I'm so curious what would be on your list. Honorable mention for Big Sur. We only got to do the southern part of Big Sur. So many beautiful drives in the US. Let's do it. Yeah, the mosquitoes just came out. So I am closing off my neck. No mosquitoes, no vampires. The closer we get to sunset, the closer we get to maybe seeing some foxes and some mountain lions. I'm ready for another redwood trail. You're getting sworn by mosquitoes right now. We got no, 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 no. I don't want that. Ancient Coast Redwood Forest is often considered to be the heart of Jedediah Smith Redwood State Park right here. A walk along this loop trail reveals colossal redwoods thriving in the rich soil deposits during the periodic flooding of the Smith River. The gnarlier the tree is, the better. That's my opinion. I like when they have lots of knots in them and they look like they've seen some stuff. I like hearing all the birds. This is when I need to step up my birding and learn what kind of birds are here. There's no other small trees here because of the flooding. So like you really, all you see is these giant 300 foot redwoods. They're spaced out pretty nicely. Oh my goodness, I feel so little compared to this tree. Sometimes they're so tall you can't even see, a lot of times you can't even see the top of them, but from here it's a good angle for us to be able to like, oh my gosh, see the very tip of it. It's almost nauseating even on the ground floor. <laughs> you really get the, the impact of how big these trees are when you go along a fallen one and you realize that it just keeps going and going and going. You can run, run down the length of this tree. So true. And <laughs> like what? It's still going and going and going. And it keeps going and going and going. <laughs> And I can't even see the end of it. I'm on top of the world. That baby's got junk in her trunk. Unreal. This is a tree trunk, which is unbelievable to me. Ha, huh. a bridge across the water. My favorite thing in the whole world. Can you tell that we're just so giddy and happy to be here? <laughs> uh, endlessly happy, truly. I'm so excited for what's next, y'all. 
one of my best friends from childhood is coming out to see us in Seattle. That's coming up. Then we are going to be going to Canada to see Reed's parents. The adventure is just going to keep on going. So if you have enjoyed this and you want to see more, keep on watching because it's only going up from here. Literally, we're going north. <laughs> I think it'll be our last night in California, which is so weird to say. We spent the last five months in California. Okay, I have officially found the gnarliest of all gnarly trees. Hands down, this one wins without a question. Take a look at this. What a beaut. The tallest redwood is 380 feet. Much of these are anywhere from 200 to 330. And then there's a bunch of really big ones that are like 350, 360. But the tallest is 380. All right, I'm gonna start running though because these mosquitoes are not messing around. We decided we were gonna wait to make dinner until we leave the redwoods, but I am gonna get us a snack because I am Whoa. hungry. Sorry, so. interrupted you, but those mosquitoes are buzzing. They are, Ooh. they're not messing around. Big yawn by Rita. The huh? back of the van has like a million mosquitoes on it. It's freaking terrifying. Not in the van. No, no. But on it. They're trying to get inside, man. If we stay here long enough, they might find a way in. Don't say that. Ugh. All right, I'm bringing hummus up. They can just, they could sense Rita and Bella's blood in here. I needed this. The fun's not gonna stop anytime soon. Welcome to the Redwoods. I think I smell your farts, Bella. Got David Crockett here. <laughs> you caressing its nose? There it goes, y'all. Sometimes he's a weirdo, but he's my weirdo. Subscribe to the video and come back next week.